Welcome to the lecture of command line arguments. Command line argument is used to utilize the full version of the main function in C++. It means that the main function has two arguments in the parameter list. Here you can see in this example, one is the argument of integer type and the second is of character pointer type. Actually, it is it saves the strings, the characters, the combination of the string in an array. So these are the two parameters in the full version of the main function. So when we using the full version, so it means that this, this parameter list can be used using in the command line version of the execution of our program. So let's see how, you know, this program actually works and what is in detail, what is the arc C and arc V. Arc C is an integer parameter containing a count of the number of arguments passed to the program. And arc C is actually, then we expand it into the argument count, okay? Arc C will always be at least one because the first argument is always the name of the program itself. Each command line argument the user provides will cause arc C to increase by one. While arc V is where the actual argument values are stored. Actually, this is a location, uh, the memory location or the, you know, the array where the arguments will be saved. So arc C is actually the number of the arguments and arc V is the location where the arguments will be saved. While arc V can be expanded as argument values, though the proper name is argument vectors. Okay. Although the declaration of RV looks intimidating, RV is really just an array of C style strings. The length of this array is arc C. We can also declare the header of the main function just like you know integer space main and then starting with open curly brace integer arc C comma character double pointer to arc V. So this is very similar to the you know the first kind of declaration okay so now this 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 declaration you know this one can also be written as uh you know in some of the books or the literature you will see the another shape of this uh, declaration of an array so here you can see we have a declare a pointer to an array so it means this is also a pointer and array is also it like a pointer so it means that we are declaring a double pointer okay so you can also write down a double point of arc v so these both are you know identical and you can use either this one or this syntax okay so this is very easy to understand that this is an array uh, of you know uh, there is a pointer to an array okay <clears throat> okay so how to use the arc c and the string array in our main function so when we pass the arguments in the command line in our cmd you know window then we can use these variables the rc and rv in our main function so you know here you can see the c out statement with a variable rc so there are rc arguments so the number of arguments you passed through the command line statement into your program so those arguments are actually be counted and that, that count will be saved in rc okay so if you passed four arguments let's say so that four that count will be saved in the arc c and you can just print the value of arc c using the c out statement in your main function the second point is to use the arc v you know the variable in our main function so rv is actually uh, an array where we have saved strings on each 
you know location on each element so you can say uh, you know we have an array and this array has the size of arg c so if arg c is 4 then the size of the array will also be equal to 4 and each element of this array will save a string into each element okay so the first value of this array will always be the name of your file your program okay so let's say this file will be you know this code will be saved in a file and that file will be named by my program dot cpp and when you execute sorry when you compile your program your file that cpp file will be you know translated into another file and that file will be uh, named as my program dot exe dot exe and that will be executable file and that executable file can be executed in the command window in the windows okay so the name of that exe file will be saved in the first location okay my program and this is the default allocation of the name of the you know file into the first location of the memory okay after naming your file after writing the file in the command statement you will be you know free to give input to your program by giving you know the space in between the arguments okay so if you generate a space and then you write an, another argument or value that you want to pass to the main function so that argument will be saved in the second location then separated by space and then in the third location then separated by space and in the fourth location so in this way you have actually given three arguments along with the name of the function that you want to execute so we have counted four arguments that will be saved in the arg v parameter or variable okay so this is an array so therefore we can you know render through the values of the array using for so for integer i is equal to zero and i is less than arg c so arg c will be by default you know count the values the arguments that you will pass through the uh, program so we will have the value exact value of the arguments of the size of the array and i plus plus and then we are you know printing the each element in the array starting from the zero so it means that we are going to print the value on zero index then value or argument on the index one on index two and on index three okay so this is arc c will be equal to four and i is less than arc c so it means that we will be executing this loop for i is equal to three less than four not i is equal to four because when i become equal to four so there is no fourth location here okay so therefore we are terminating our loop on i is equal to four okay so when you go to the start button of your windows and you you know search for the cmd the command line interface and then you press on enter buttons you will see a black screen or window on your desktop okay there you need to write down the you know the name of your exe file that you you know the uh, the file which after compilation is actually created okay of your program so you need to access to that directory and in that directory uh, using cd command okay and then you will need to write down the name of the exe file and space with some arguments okay and each argument should be separated with a space okay so when you enter when you press enter button of your keyboard while giving the name of the file the exe file that you have 
you know achieved while compiling the your CPP file. Then space with arguments, space in arguments, space in arguments, and then you press the enter button. So you will see the output of your main program. Okay. This concept is known as command line argument. Okay. Command line arguments. We are going to give the arguments in the command line. Okay. In the CMD value. So you can see the C out statement will be executing. There are two arguments, for example, in this statement you can see the name of the file and the argument that user has inputted here. So these are the two arguments that we have passed. One is the name of the file, second is the you know some value separated by space. And then we are going to execute our loop. So, you know, since we have two uh, elements in the array, we have two arguments. So, the first value of the array will be printed here, and the second value of the element of an array will be printed just after the name of the file. So, name of the file is the first, you know, element of the array, and will always be the first element of the array. And then your inputted arguments or the values will be the second and or third and fourth positions. Okay. So in this way you can give input to your exe file from the command line. And this concept is known as command line argument. This is also one of the easiest way to introduce a command line argument for your program. Normally you have seen, you know, when you compile your CPP file through command line. So you give, you know, multiple arguments to compile your CPP file. That concept is actually known as command line argument, okay? And in similar way, you can introduce this for your own programs as well. Where you asking the user through command line, if you want to execute this easy file, so write the name of the file, and then you just need to pass or the, give the input with, along with the name of the file separated by space. So this is, you know, uh, one of the easiest way that normally programmer are used for their programming, their, for their programs to be executed. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question regarding this command line argument concept using C++, so ask me in the comments below. Inshallah, I will try my best to answer those questions. Thank you.